Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to uh, read a Z table. Okay, so here's my Z table. And uh, one of two things can happen here is that, uh, let me make it a little bigger, uh, you're given your Z score, uh, which let's just say we have a Z score of 1.65. What that means is we look up the Z score down the first column, we have 1.6. And then, so what this really is, is 1.6 plus 0 0.05. So we get the 1.6 going down here. We get the point, uh, the point 0.05 from the top. So the intersection of 1.6 <clears throat> And uh, 0 0.5, we find this point right here, our 0 0.950. Um, so that's that would give me the area under the curve. So this takes the z-score. And from that, we calculate uh, our service level policy, which is the same as the area under the curve. In this case, it is, uh, is just this point. 9505 there. All right. So that's when we're giving a Z score. That's how we figure out our service level policy. Now, if we're given a service level policy, how do we figure out the Z score? So let's say we have a um, service level policy of 90%. Um, so we look in the table and we find 90%. Now, a lot of times it's not going to be exact. Like we could see 90% is in between 0.8997 and 0 0.9015. Uh, what we're always going to do in this class is round up. So in this case, I would call my, my, um, my number, I'd call that 0 0.9015 because we're rounding up. To get the Z score off of that, I look at the column in the row. So for the column here, I'm at 1.2. I mean, for the row, I'm at 1.2. And for the column, I'm at 0 0.09. I add those together, and my Z score would be 1.2. Two nine. Again, we're always going to uh, round up in this class. But if you're interested, this is the way you would really do it. It's called extrapolation or just to extrapolate. What you do is you set up a ratio. Um, numbers that you do know, uh, like if I was trying to find 95%, um, there is no number for exactly 95% here. Um, but I do know what 1.65, I'm at point zero, uh, point 0.9505. So 1.65 to 0 0.9505 is, what does that come out to? Um, so I have want this, I have this, I cross multiply and divide, and I would come out with a perfect z-score of 1.6491. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Let's just round up to the next one, make life easy. All right, so I hope that uh, helped everybody out, and let me know what you think.